Hey YouTube, so it's been a while since I've made a video and I decided to just stop in. I don't really have anything specific to talk about, but I just wanted to, I guess, give a little bit of updates. So first update, um, remember how I cut the sides of my hair? It grew in, it grew in right here. This is where it was that I cut it. This is the baby hair area. And my intention originally was to keep cutting it and making it look less mannish, but I haven't really been pressed to deal with it because it's grown in and it doesn't really look like, you can't tell that it was cut and therefore needs to be recut. It kind of just looks like new growth with the rest of my locks. So I'm just letting it rock for now. See how I like it. Um, this is the style I wore today just because... I don't know. It just felt like it. Um, how long has it been so far? This is month five of my lock journey. And I have been noticing some things. Okay, I told you guys that I did interlocking and how I was liking that better. But I've actually gone back to palm rolling because as my hair has grown out, the areas that I did do interlocks with are starting to have holes in them. And doing that Y thing where the two pieces start to separate and then there's a space in the middle. Like, I really don't like that. I thought it was, I wasn't going to have that problem because I did the method exactly how they say, you know, north, south, east, west. And when I did it, it was really tight. So it didn't feel like there was any separation. But as time has gone on and it's grown out, the space has been coming through and... I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I really don't. So I've been going back to palm rolling. And yes, you know, it's more maintenance, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Basically, every day I wet my hair, I'll just use a spray bottle and spritz it. And um, when I'm feeling like I need some variety or some flair, I'll just do some, I'll just do braid outs. I'll just braid up three locks at a time. One, two, three. Just braid them, and then the next day I'll take them out, and then they'll make a little crinkly effect. These are old, so it's not doing the crinkle as much. But it'll do like this one. It'll look like that, or like this. And I'll just rock it, and it looks nice. I'm going to just take this all out. And yeah, um, some of my locks are completely... Well, I really can't even say completely because they still have the two-strand pattern all up and through. <laughs> but they're more together as far as I can't unravel them at this point. They're definitely matted together and some of them are starting to lump up like this one. Um, the ones in the back have definitely lumped up entirely. Let me see if I can find one that you can see. Like this one and as you can see the frizz is real the frizz is real but I love it I love the frizz um, yeah like this one they're budding that's what it's called I'm here saying lumped up they're budding um, yeah and I must say as time has gone by I've just been loving and loving and loving my locks more and more because one they're super convenient Two, <laughs> um, I don't know, I just feel like it looks good. Like, even when it doesn't look good, it looks good. So it's cool. I'm enjoying it. But I'm so, I'm really impatient. Like, I really want it to lock up. Like, I, they don't look like locks. They just look like really fuzzy twists. Like, even look at this one, the bottom. And I always had to retwist it. And it keeps doing this. It keeps coming undone. I don't know what's good with that. Like, what's good with you, Ma? Get it together. But anyways, before this video becomes a five-minute situation about nothing, I'm just going to cut it short right here. And I'll come back with another video later in life with a real topic. Okay? Alright, bye guys. 